Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. I'm going to be turning around the camera and facing the table in just a minute. But the reason we are here is to swatch all of the brown lipsticks that I have to see if I have a dupe for this shade right here. This is an old CoverGirl, I forget the name of the line, long lasting lipwear, something like that. This is the shade 654, it's pretty old. I don't know how old, but very, very old. And despite the fact that it's that liquid lipstick that dries down completely matte and stays all day and doesn't budge, and despite the fact that it was quite old, I was falling in love with this shade of brown quite a bit. Now, I'm not a big fan of liquid lipsticks. They're not my thing. I would much prefer a creamy, more comfortable bullet lipstick. And I do think the formula on this has changed over the years because sometimes I would put it on and it would last all day and other times I would put it on and it would just like crumble off almost immediately. So I'm not intent on seeing if I have a dupe of the formula. I just wanna see if I have a dupe of this shade. So I've pulled all of my brown lipsticks and we will be swatching them today to see if I have a dupe for this. Now it's kind of a reddish brown, which I think is part of what makes it so wearable for me because typically I don't think these colors are very flattering on me, but um, we'll see. So if you'd like to hang out with me and shop my stash for a potential dupe for this lipstick, which is now going to be decluttered because it broke, stick around. Okay. I hope this angle is okay. I don't know if it is or not. I always get a little nervous when I have to face the camera downward, but hopefully you can see, okay, the camera's on. Hopefully you can see what's going on. Here are all of my brown lipsticks. Some of them are more brown than others, but I think there are 22 here. Yeah, 22. Here's the lipstick we are trying to dupe and I found one to declutter. So I figured I would show you guys this here and we'll talk about it in my empties at the end of the month briefly. But I found this lipstick when I was searching for my brown lipsticks. This is a lipstick from The Body Shop. I've had it for a while. It's in the shade Idyllic, Idyllic, number 44. And it's, gotten past the point of being any good. Sadly, it looks like it's brand new. I never really used it, um, but it is now smelling a little funky and it's gotten really hard. Yeah, it just, it's a pretty color. It's just, yeah. I think the real issue is the smell, unfortunately. Uh, that's a deal breaker. So this is going to be decluttered. So I guess that's good, I guess. All right, so here's the product I am trying to dupe. I might do some lip swatches if I find some ones that are close to this, but let's start with just swatching them on my arm. Hopefully I will be able to get them off tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it like right in the middle of my arm, right here. This is the shade that I have fallen in love with and would like to try to dupe if I can, because otherwise I will find myself searching for the dupe online so that I could buy it. And I don't want that. All right. I have a lot of very old lipsticks. Let's start with these right here. These are all kind of like matte, long-wearing lipsticks, but they're in bullet form. This is an old Revlon in the shade Slate. I think it's going to be a more cool-toned. Oh, oh my gosh, that just broke right off. What? What just happened? A tissue. It's pretty warm in here. Oh, 
All right, that is the shade Slate. It looks a little bit more plummy. It's lighter. Definitely not a dupe, but I kind of want to wear that color now because it looks really pretty on my arm. Here is the shade Coco. It looks like it could be similar based on the sticker on the bottom, but when I see it here, it doesn't look the same at all. Mm. I don't even know if that's a brown at all. Why would it say Coco? And my last Revlon is the shade Raisin. I've had, this looks promising. I've had this for a long time. Hmm. I'm starting to question my ability to classify a brown lipstick because none of these are brown based on these swatches here. This is the shade Fudge and it is from Estee Lauder. That's a lot like the Revlon one in Raisin. Those two are basically dupes. This is L'Oreal, I think. Toffee? No, another Revlon. This is another Revlon one. This is the shade Toffee. Wow, that looks really sheer. And then finally, I have another Revlon one. This one's in Sheer Coffee. All right, I'm kind of loving all of these shades right here, but none of them are a dupe for the CoverGirl shade. Let's keep it going. I don't think this is going to be a dupe at all, but I had to pull it out. This is a ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Wet. It's a pearlized finish. And all I can tell you about this shade is whatever I thought it was gonna be when I saw it online, this was not what I was expecting. Um, it's an almost, olivey gray brown it's really weird i have an instagram photo of me wearing it somewhere i'll have to find it this was another shade that i thought looked horrible on me but surprisingly i got a few compliments with but definitely not a dupe this is another revlon color stay in the shade glow and so it's got the liquid lipstick on this side and a clear lip gloss shine on the other side. It definitely looks a lot more red. Oh, it's kind of a berry shade. Definitely not brown, very pretty, but not brown. I should put that in Project 10 uses this fall. Okay, I have a few more liquid lipsticks. These are from Max Factor, but they are the exact same formula and packaging as the CoverGirl. I don't, I can clearly see from the outside packaging that they're not dupes, but they were the closest out of what I had. So I figured if I'm going to stain my arms, I might as well swatch these two. This looks like a very, Oh, per oh, look at how purple that is. Wow. That is purple. This one just looks very like a neutrally, almost cool toned brown. Oh my gosh. That would probably look horrible on me. 
that shade. I don't think that shade would look very good on me at all. I'm running out of arm space already. This is another Revlon, a liquid lipstick in the shade Hot Chocolate. None of them are even close to this so far. Don't give up hope yet. Oh, that's... just a sheerer formula. And this is another one in the shade Mochaccino. I'm going to have to start going sideways over here. Where did all the pigment go in this thing? I almost stuck that right up my nose. Okay, so far everything I've swatched except for this ColourPop Lippy Sticks is super old. And a lot of these are super old too, but here are three that are somewhat newish. This is a Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Scandal. I think this is like a Ready Brown. Well, it definitely has a similar depth, finally. It's definitely got a lot more pink than this one, but I think so far this is the closest to that CoverGirl one. This is Soft Spoken from NYX. It's a liquid suede. Yeah. When I first got this, I thought it was amazing. I think it's gonna be too light. Definitely too light. This is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Metallic Lipstick in the shade Metallic Candy Bar. Oh wow, look at that. It looks so like olive, like a golden olive shade compared to the rest of these. Still smells amazing. Not a dupe though, not at all. This is a Lancome lipstick in the shade Matte Cognac. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like an orangey red. Kind of reminds me of some of these over here. This is an old Olay. Is this Olay? I don't remember Olay having lipstick. I think that's the Olay logo right there. Huh, it's called Autumn Leaves. Not a dupe, pretty shade though. All right, this is from Nat Robbins. It's the Stay Put Lip Color in the shade Choc Chocolate. Yep, chocolate. That's actually... one of the closest shades to this. That's pretty close. This is L'Oreal in the shade Boundless Bronze. 
Oh, wow. Are you guys seeing that? That actually looks, oh, that's really close again. Really close. This is another L'Oreal. This is Sparkling Sandstone. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. Not a dupe, but pretty. These lipsticks are all melting. It's like 85 degrees in here. <laughs> this is from Prescriptives. This is in the shade Decadent. That's not bad. I think we're getting really close. I kind of want to move this L'Oreal one over there too. But as far as the color, this is a really similar tone to the CoverGirl one. I'll move it, sure, why not? And then finally, I have a little Bare mineral sample. This is in the shade Queen. I got this as part of a set. Not a dupe at all. <gasps> oh! Close call. Definitely more of a berry shade than a brown shade. Is this the one that's the closest? I think so. Yep. This is definitely the shade that is the closest to cover girl. Definitely. All right. I think I will insert lip swatches of all of these um, so that we can see uh, how close they are to each other and, you know, which one's the closest. I still think this L'Oreal one's the closest. But I think there's some good, nice brown options here that when I want to wear a shade like that, I could pull for. I don't need to buy a brown lipstick. That's for sure. And actually, swatching all of these shades made me really curious to play with some of them again. Some of them really stood out to me. Which ones were they? Um, this one. In Coco, that looks amazing. I really like the way that one looks. This one, this purpley one, that's crazy purple. Both of these. And this, oh my gosh, I would really like to play with all of these really soon. And actually these two lighter shades looked really fun too, to be honest. They were pretty sheer, but I like those as well. So I would love to incorporate some of these in Project 10 uses, especially as we move in towards late summer, early fall. I'm not ready to talk about that yet, but as far as makeup goes, that's what I'm thinking when I see these shades. So I have some good options to choose from. And these guys will have their own day eventually, but not today. And this one's getting decluttered. All right, stay tuned for some lip swatches.
Okay guys, that is all of the swatches. I am finishing this video wearing my CoverGirl liquid lipstick one last time. And I have to tell you, I am more comfortable than ever before with the idea of decluttering this. Just applying it just now reminded me of how uncomfortable this is. And out of these five lipsticks that I picked as being the closest, I don't know if any of them are exact dupes, but I definitely think I can dupe the vibe of what I was going after and what I was getting from this lipstick. And all five of these lipsticks are a hundred times more comfortable than that one right there. So, I am really, really glad I did this video. I thank any of you who encouraged me to film this because I was really on the fence and when I saw your comments saying, yes, do what I wanna see it, it really uh, motivated me, so thank you. And yeah, I am more confident than ever that decluttering this is the right choice and that out of these five, there's something here that I can get that will give me that ready brown vibe that I'm looking for. I do not need to buy a dupe of that liquid lipstick. I certainly have some really nice ones here. I was really shocked by, the, which one was it? Was it this L'Oreal one? Not only was this L'Oreal one super, super soft, and it almost like melted as I was trying to apply it. It was like trying, no, not this one, this one. Yeah, it was like trying to apply melting butter on your lips but it was also a glitter bomb and i did not notice that from the packaging that it was a super glittery lip lipstick and i think under the right circumstances that could be kind of fun um out of all five of these lipsticks the only one i was even remotely familiar with prior to this video was this one i think i wore this last winter, maybe the winter before. Whenever I did the advent calendar project, I think it was the winter before last, I had this in my advent calendar. But these four I haven't touched in eons. So I'm really, really glad that I had a chance to swatch these, test them, make sure they're still good, make sure they're still working. And I would love to roll one of these or all of these into projects in the future and really start working on them. And like I said earlier, I also found some other interesting shades that although they are not dupes for that CoverGirl liquid lipstick, they look really interesting and I would like to try them out as well. And I found a lipstick to declutter through this process. Not only am I going to declutter this CoverGirl one that started this video, but I also found this one from the body shop that I'm also going to declutter. Just doesn't smell good. I don't want it on my lips. I'm sure it's a beautiful color. I'm sure at some point it was a beautiful lipstick. I don't know why I didn't use it when I bought it, but it's it's too late. It is way too late. So I have two lipsticks that I'm decluttering and five pretty close dupes. We will really see when I take the side-by-side -side comparison photos and we can all look at them all at the same time. But like I said, even though they might not be exact dupes, they will definitely give me that vampy reddish brownish vibe that i'm going for and that a lot of you guys seem to like when i wear so i'm good that's awesome that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye